In the research, we sketched a father with his kid, and the kid was turning around and saying, hey, look there, a car from the future. And that was, in a way, our benchmark. Do we have that? And I think we have. Well, design for me, first of all, it's, it's a passion. It's really what I do and probably also partially what I am. And, and what I found so beautiful about design is that I think fundamentally, through the design, through what you do, you can have an impact on other people and, and society. I think that's a beautiful thing. As a designer, I try to give an added value through design and trying to fit new solutions that could fit the new future. For me, design is actually the only way I could live and function because it's very natural for me to imagine how I would like to see the world and how to make it better. For me it, it is a very natural solution to make an object that has to move self-efficient and I just had to wait for some people passionate and crazy enough to really create a solar car. I love it when uh, cars are innovative, but innovative in a positive direction. This is really innovation with yeah, a mission behind it to actually improve something. The main reason why I totally dedicate my time in that is for the big principle that is behind of this vehicle and this new mobility that I think that with this new vehicle we can reach. As today we can see electrical cars or hybrid cars, I think the future like here could represent something like this, then a new generation of vehicles. It's a game changer on what car can be, what a car can be for this world. The guys from Lightyear came and said, you want an extremely efficient car, but this car should be really a positive companion for their owners to really enjoy life using the car. The targets that uh, Lightyear exposed for the project are were rather extreme in terms of weight, in terms of aerodynamic performance and so forth. The only way to do that is by really tackling the project in a holistic way. Just look at all the aspects together, optimize between them so we can reach that goal. During the process, we really worked a lot, a lot together with the aerodynamic team. Every single surface has been iterated dozens of times, and that's the only way you can make a car like this. Where can we squeeze out just a couple of millimeters so it makes the shape better from the aerodynamic point of view, and it needs to be beautiful. A step by step, it's like a, an evolution focused on performance. It's the combination between shapes materials, touching feelings, and how you involve the user and how you make the user that could interact in the right way with the object. Then this combination of that is the main challenge of uh, the year one. And of course, reaching the aerodynamics is also a challenge, but not a compromise, because I think if you design with aerodynamics, in a way it also helps you towards a certain beauty, a certain aesthetics. Uh, we at Gunnar Studio really love when we have to do things that are very efficient because then things get interesting and, and challenging and a cool object is going to come out. And what I'm really proud of this project is that style is enhancing performances. And that is what I think that is the added value that the designer of this project is giving to the new Lightyear One. What we did is just starting from the essence of this car and then look how, how can this lead to also new shapes and shapes of which I'm 100% convinced that will 
uh, always been perceived as beauty because beauty is often shapes which do something good and so make for me making a car more aerodynamic and more sustainable is good so eventually it's beautiful this is such a particular and complicated project that the inspiration was in the project itself the solar square meters in the project at the beginning was like a big constraint but uh, day by day became a point of inspiration so definitely the you know integrating all those square meters of solar cells was a challenge but in a way also an opportunity uh, because for example the back of the car that's where really the, the synergy of aerodynamics and the need for the surface of solar cells really came together because making the car longer made the car more aerodynamic and of course making the car longer gave us more surface for putting the uh, solar cells so and that led to I would say unique proportions of the cars but proportions that I, I really love because it's true to what the car is the car actually is based on the fact that we have to fit these five square meters of solar panels onto it and all the rest is designed around it. When you see the car, you have an intuitive, immediate reaction of something that one, attracts you, and second, it does hint at that progress which is behind the mission of Lightyear. It does need to feel like something which belongs to the future, or at least goes literally towards the future. And in general, the car is not afraid of taking things that are not so common in car design now. And I think that this is a car that is basically starting from the archetype of a car and it's creating a new archetype of a car. I'm very happy of its, let's say, side view because the stance is something really modern but really timeless. The car is designed playing a lot also on graphics. You have the dark bottom part of the car, which does two things. It evokes this feeling of the car that you go everywhere with, but it's also a design tool for us to manage the volumes. Because, because of the aerodynamics, the body goes very low. And if we wouldn't have done that color breakup, the car would have a risk to look, look heavy. The, the rear wheel cover is something that is there because of aerodynamics. Basically, if we just close the body, on, on the rear, uh, I think the, the rear would have seemed a bit heavy. So what we did is to take, a, take advantage of this black surfacing on, on the bottom of the car and make it go around the rear wheel arch so that you can still feel the presence of the wheel. So these elements are a fundamental part of the design and that's why I like to see the car, at least the first ones, in a light body color. So the contrast with the darker parts really does the job. The interior is not just something to, to look at. It needs to be beautiful, but it's also a beauty that needs to be revealed in using it. The color and trim uh, was really uh, one of the guiding elements in, in designing this interior. We went into a different direction, a direction where we keep all the things of beauty, comfort and so on, but also make a design which is uh, simple, which means simple to produce. Simple to produce often means less pieces, less pieces makes it lighter, which goes in the direction of what this car should be. And that now opens up a whole spectrum of materials that could be used to upholster our pieces. We had to be very, very precise in choosing the right materials for the interiors everything is really sustainable. Today, in automotive field, you can do whatever you want, but it's fake. Fake leather, <laughs> fake uh, aluminum, fake everything. We try to make real, but also natural, and with a good green way. If it's wood, it's natural, real wood. And come from a green forest, etc. Then each single material that we apply was our research, adapt the research in order to be sure that this material fits with the principle of light year. We all agree that we need to improve sustainability and so forth. But the way to get to there at a big scale is doing things that people really like. 
that people really are attracted to. And that's also a big part of the role we saw for ourselves. It's a car that is really not about how much money and power you have, but rather how much ethic you want to go into uh, your actual movings. I think you should feel proud to drive it. A car, when you sit in it, will always be a kind of expression also of you, because you at that point express you a bit through the car. And so it should give you a good feeling and proud, and being proud is not just for aesthetics, it's also for what the car stands for. Totally freedom and totally feeling that you are driving right to the future. And the future is, is in the present and it's not a screaming future, it's a possible future and that is what I really hope that everybody driving this car or seeing this car will think about.